Hello and welcome on 360 Spot on Trust TV. I am Adini Aji Shafer. Well, right now is the bronze day. Yes, don't wear breaking that particular record. I've been standing for 39 years. Well, welcome you once again on the show. We just have to look at that story. It will be the first story we'll be looking at, talking about LeBron James, the one they call the king right now. Well, we start with say, basketball as we quickly look at the record uh, that has been broken by LeBron. LeBron James break most career points. In NBA history, top playing Karim Abdul-Jabbar, 39-year-old record. What's the way uh, the man right now is smiling? He has done well for himself, at least uh, by beating the record that actually stood for 39 years uh, when it comes to the history of uh, basketball in America. LeBron James, who really right now has done well for himself, has really uh, been able to finally break the record. Now we look at this uh, all-time regular season scoring leaders. LeBron James now number one with 38,388 points, followed by the man that actually held the record for 39 years. Uh, that's uh, Karim Abdul-Jabbar, who was on ground to also celebrate him, 38,387. And you have Karl Malone, 36,928. Late Kobe Bryant with 33,643 points. Uh, you have uh, uh, Michael Jordan, 32,292. Dagno Whiskey standing 60 there with Chamberlain. The man that had it for 11 years before the record was broken by uh, Karim Abdul Jabbar, standing seventh on the log there. Shaquille O'Neal, the giant, 28,000 uh, points that he actually scored in his career. Camelo Anthony, I have Moses Malone, actually scored 27,409 to make it the top 10 scoring leaders all time regular season in the NBA. Just how to celebrate LeBron James for what he has done. And really, he has done well. That's Karim Jabbar, the man that still actually held the record for 39 years. Now, let's look at the story of uh, uh, LeBron James. As we look at it, uh, I was scrolling there, talking about uh, LeBron James' story there. Los Angeles Lakers forward. LeBron James set record for most career points in NBA history. Toppling Hall of Famer and fellow Laker Karim Abdul Jabbar. Late in the third uh, quarter during the game against Oklahoma City Thunder, James scored his 36th point of the night for a career total of 38,388 points. Abdul Jabbar set the record April 5, 1984, and increased the record total to 38,387 points by the time he stepped away from the game five years later. James, who doesn't appear likely to retire in the next few years, could top 40,000 before all is said and done. The record, once thought untouchable, has stood since Abdul Jabbar's retirement in 1989. In fact, uh, Abdul Jabbar set the record in the spring of 1984, passing with Chamberlain. James Watkins was not even born at that time. And while Abdul Jabbar held the record for 39 years, Chamberlain held it for 11 years. Utah Jazz forward Karl Malone now stands tall, but he was still nearly 1,500 points shy of the former Lakers center when he retired after 19 seasons in the NBA. Kobe Bryant, with nearly 5,000 points fewer than James, stands fourth all time uh, with Michael Jordan rounding out the top five. Four of the top five players on the list, all but Jordan, play for the Los Angeles Lakers at one point in their careers. Le Le LeBron James entered the league in 2003, already a phenom, and uh, uh, after a legendary high school career, earned him the top overall selection in the NBA draft and immediately became a top scorer. In his rookie season, he averaged 20.9 points per game and only went up from there. He led the league in scoring once, his 30 points per game in 2007-2008, but has averaged at least 27 points per game 12 times, including this season. His highest single season total was 31.4 points per game in his third season. He scored 23,119 points in 11 seasons with Cleveland Cavaliers, split between two stays, scored 7,919 points in Miami Heat, and now has just over 7,300 points in his time with Los Angeles. Lakers. James, who has made the playoff in 15 of, 10, of 19 seasons, 
already held the record for most points in NBA history, combined the regular season and the playoffs. Abdul Jabbar played until he was 41, but he also played four seasons at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he won three NCAA titles and three National Player of the Year honors, while LeBron James went straight to become a professional. What's the way to tell the story of uh, LeBron James, who has done well for himself right now, breaking that record that stood for 39 years? Uh, really, it's something to celebrate, talking about LeBron James. Uh, well, if you look at basketball, uh, you want to think of a lot of uh, star players. In fact, legend Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, not forgetting uh, uh, Magic Johnson with Chamberlain, all of them. Oh, this iconic picture with Chamberlain versus uh, Karim Abjabar. That was in 1984 when he broke the record of uh, Will Chamberlain, who actually uh, held it for 11 years. Well, right now, Abjabar record has stood for 39 years, has also been broken by LeBron James. What's the way when it comes to the NBA? LeBron James really is standing out. I have in the studio, uh, <laughs> Noel Samson. I morning. see you smiling. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really great uh, record of, uh, for LeBron James. I've been a fan of uh, LeBron James right mm. from the one. Very good, you know, the height, everything. So him breaking the record after 39 years, before he was even born, it's really something very, very something very, very, we are, we are proud of. He should, should be happy now. Hmm. I'm, the way I'm looking at it, before he retires, he's going to break more. Probably of 40. It has been, or at 41. least uh, they've put it that uh, at least we're able to get 40 more before he retires. Yes, at yes. least 40,000. Because that, that man is not stopping. He's just hmm. going, he's just going. And probably who knows, maybe his son too is playing for... Yeah, he said his, his, his happiness would be to play against, uh, at least with his son, who is 18 right now, yes. although he's still in uh, college, but uh, he would want to have his son play alongside him. Uh, if he stays probably like, what, three or four more years, it might, that might happen. Even mm. when his son is being drafted into the NBA, because his son is as good as he's also too. Mm. Well, talking about the LeBron James right now, we just had to celebrate him for what he has done. A record that's two for 39 years. The first person that held that record held it for 11 years, and then the second person heading for 39 and LeBron right now has done well and to let you know that majority of those actually stand in the first 10 are retired Shaquille O'Neal talk about Michael Jordan Kobe Bryant all of them yes but now let's look at another one that particular uh, history NBA active players yes active players now all-time scoring Camilo Anthony who entered the league the same season as James is second among active all-time scoring leaders but he stands a full 10,000 points behind LeBron James. So Anthony, who has remained unsigned this season but has not retired, is six months older than James. Kevin Durant, uh, Durant is third among active players with over 26,684 points, about 12,000 points behind James. Durant at the four has scored just shy of 12,000 points in the last eight seasons combined. James is under contract for two more seasons in Los Angeles. He has said the last thing on his list of goals is to play with his son, Bronny. The 18-year-old prospect is currently a senior in high school and deciding where to go to college in the fall. Well, uh, look at that particular record now. Even uh, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Durant, they need to get at least 10,000, 12,000 points yes, before they can get close. And it doesn't mean he too will be scoring even 27, 22 points. Yes, he, should, he will be scoring in every game. Sure, mm. I'm not sure there's any game he's, going to, he's not going to score. He's going to be scoring in every game. So those people have a longer, they have a long thing. So it will take a, a lot of years for that uh, record very, to, to be broken. If they are not retired. Because mm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure they can get those points within five years. Mm. So and sure. Camelo, Camelo is older by, uh, for, by, with six months. Yes. So, so that's what we are. Uh, it's going to be uh, maybe another twenty years. <laughs> no, what, what if uh, a lot of stuff? You know the way the way sports is actually going now is getting so. Uh, you look at the the evolution, the way it's evolving this, with speed. With, uh, we can use speed and pace as one word, but the way athletes are breaking grounds these days, it may not last for up to nine years before somebody will break that's the ground. Right, Mm, let's say 20, let's say 20 more or years. maybe 15. Yes, which I, which I believe probably might be his son. Who knows? 
Hmm. Well, no, but I'm sure none of these people we mentioned. What about uh, uh, the like? A lot of uh, players are there who can actually do this. They, are, they, they could be getting closer. We see how the likes of Atento Kompo, we see how the likes of uh, Stephen Curry. <laughs> <laughs> the road is, the road is too far. Age, right? <laughs> okay, the road is too far. Talking about their age, but, but for the way it is, uh, uh, really, uh, a player that is active now that will catch up with LeBron James who really work hard because he has really set a lot of record there. Thirty-eight thousand three hundred. 88 points ahead among the top 10 and only two that is actually are active among them are now still trailing by 12,000, 10,000 points. LeBron James really decided to be called the king. Although this is not a time to fight who is the greatest of all time in <laughs> basketball, but really uh, I, I saw a particular, a lot of uh, Twitter and there where people are talking about uh, the greatest of all time. He's the and, goat. <laughs> uh, but but, but uh, people that, are, uh, those that follow basketball, in 70s, 80s, 90s. We want to tell you, oh, Michael is uh, Jordan. Michael Jordan, Will Sha Chamberlain, Shaquille, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, another player that you just have to doff your heart for, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, for what he has done in basketball, Me edging his name in gold. Yes. Don't forget uh, Magic Johnson, the body called Al. He also did well uh, when it comes to basketball, when it comes to uh, the best, uh, the greatest of all time. And it could be very, very difficult to pick a player but as the greatest. You know, one thing about basketball is it's not like football. Mm. You know football, it seems they, they, we, we play the uh, greatest of all time based on titles mm. and probably goals. And you'd see, uh, during the likes of Pele, to score goals were quite easy. Probably some kind of, they scored some kind of offside, some kind of, uh, you know, probably goals that, was, that wasn't worth it. But now, in, in, the late, in, the, in the world of football now, to score such great goals is quite, is quite, dif is quite difficult now. Unlike then when the likes of Pele and Maradona played. Mm -hmm. So what, what I'm trying to point out is that now, when um, the likes of uh, Michael Jordan played, the game was not as quite as uh, good as I uh, less it sophisticated as now. Mm. So whether I like it or not, it was quite there are some rules then that was not uh, implied or implemented then. But now you have those rules now on ground. Yeah, it's, it's more technical now. Yes, and you still have the likes of uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, this uh, what is the player we're talking about now? What's his name? Again? Stephen <laughs> Curry. Yeah. No. LeBron no, James. LeBron James. Okay. He's scoring that, uh, that now points. Then to me, I give him the greatest of all time. That's for you. Yes, to me. But those that actually follow basketball in the 80s, 90s, who want to tip towards Michael yeah, Jordan, so uh, tip towards Will Chamberlain, <laughs> all of them actually was to be celebrated. But for this particular record broken by LeBron James, standing as a top all-time scorer in the NBA, it will stand a long time before that record will actually be uh, broken because right now it's 2 for 39 years before he got it done, but we need to celebrate what he has done. Giving you an update concerning LeBron James for what he did winning and scoring those uh, points in his career. Just, uh, I've just had to celebrate him there. Now we quickly uh, give you a result of all the match, uh, games that were played earlier today. It's still in the NBA now. Uh, let's look at those results. Uh, uh, even though LA Lakers, they lost that game uh, LeBron James was able to score uh, in that particular encounter. Now, let's have the NBA result there as we look at it. And before we move on to football, uh, talking about uh, basketball there. Well, from the way it is, uh, it seems uh, the result is not coming. So uh, <laughs> let's move straight to, uh, well, well, from the way it is, let's quickly move to uh, uh, NWFL, where we're talking about women football right now. Well, the M NWFL is back. After a recess, they'll be playing matches, and we quickly look at those games that have been that will be coming up uh, today. Delta Queens will be playing against Bayelsa Queens. Uh, well, a big match there. A big match because it's a battle of the South and uh, <laughs> uh, clubs. So, uh, you, can South, call it, South. you can call it a debut, but it's a tough one. Oshun Babes in the show will be hosting Heartland Queens, Rivers Angels, and Investor Portaco will be at home against Royal Queens. And if you look at this game, a tough one in this group, Delta Queens versus Bielsa Queens, always a big one because both teams are equal to the task. Uh, well, you might want to tilt so well, uh, Rivers Angels, uh, looking at the fact that Royal Queens of uh, Worry uh, might not be as strong. But yes, football yes. can never be predicted at times. You can just go wrong. But from the way it is, and well, who are you standing with? Uh, for the Delta Queens and Bayasa uh, Queens, I go for the Bayasa Queens. Mm. For Shun Babes and uh, Heartland 
queens are I should, I go for the ocean baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's it about? Why the royal angel, uh, the river angels and royal angels? I want, I like royalty. So let me mm. go for the royal angel, the royal queens. <laughs> Let's see who will be at least uh, going with uh, what Noel is actually predicting in that particular game. Group A, match day, eight fixtures. And let's look at group B as matches will also be coming up there. Abia Angels will be at the Enyimba Stadium in Abai against Nasarawa Amazons. Can they win this game? Let's see who wins that particular encounter. Adamawa Queens in Yola will be at home against FC Robo Queens from Lagos. Why Ibom Angels are straight down to Lokoja to play against Confluence Queens team. Uh, Confluence Queens will be playing uh, that's uh, in Lokoja against uh, Ibom Angels. Welcoming the team from Aqua Ibom. Abia, 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 Abia Queens was natural. I think uh, the, I will give it to the natural uh, Amazons. Then Adama Queens to the FC Robo Queens. I give it to the to the FC Robo Queens. Then Confluence Queens uh, to the versus the Ebom Angels. I give it to the Confluence Queens. Well, even though <laughs> your your prediction might just go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, from the way it is, let the best thing win. It's going to be happening tonight uh, by 4 p.m. Rather, in the evening, they will be fighting for honors uh, in different stadiums across Nigeria. Well, those matches will be coming up. Six matches expected in both Group A and B in the Nigerian Women Football League. We are now back to resume where they actually drop the bats. And when it comes to football, women in Nigeria are really doing well in football. Now, we move away from there. Let's talk about the under 20. Well, from the way it is right now, as they are prepared to go for the African under 20, in Egypt. Well, Nigerians can't wait to see the final list that will be released. Anxiety on agents. They were just saying, yeah, really hoping that their players will make this uh, court as Ladan Boso is set to release final list. Well, from this uh, particular story, uh, under 20 will be going for AFCON. Uh, we saw what they play against Zambia in their uh, friendly match. It was a tough one, but they were able to try on 4-2. Uh, Zambia Junior Chipolopolo didn't come to play. They really came out against us. They fought hard, but they, scored, they were able to score two goals. We scored four, six goal thriller. But now we're going to the AFCON. They'll be leaving for Morocco for their final campaign before that list will be rolled out. But right now, a lot of agents are like, ah, my boys will make it and all that. Yeah, Lionel Bosso is very, is a very good um, coach, uh, which uh, we, 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 he tends to pick uh, very good quality players. So I think for the agents now, the, 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 the way they are scared, but it seems they have a set of good players in the team. So it seems they have to talk to their players. Okay, please, if you're a defensive midfielder, be scoring goals. <laughs> if you if you are attacker, come up defending. Mm. If you if you are a right back, go and cross and score more goals. Because now it seems that's what the edge where they have to do is go be. If you are if you are if you are playing particularly be versatile so that you can play mm. other wings. So that in case so that in case ah, well, let's drop this guy. So, ah, no, but you know you can still. It's be difficult. Yes, he comes back to come and help the defense even as an attacker. Because if you see the talent of players Nigerians have, it's mm. it's quite difficult to because everybody is good. Everybody is good. So mm. it's why you, where the coach picks. I'm sure the coach will be having a headache and picking one of the best to represent the, the country at, the, the, at that tournament. So it's, very, it's a very tough one, not for the coach, not for the agent, and also for the coach because he won't want to pick someone that they will now go and disappoint Nigerians, but he wants to pick the best out of the best. Mm. So apart from that, the, the agents should try and talk to their players also. They should put their best. There's no time for big manism in this game now. We are still holding. You have to put your best so that they give you pass. You want to play pass, you'll be doing one nonsense, NASA passing, you are doing no. Give the pass, let it go directly. Do not if you if you are to dribble one person, dribble, you give the pass. Not that you want to dribble the whole feet, you dribble if you finish. They will now win you. What's that for? Mm. So if you talk, they should the agents should talk to their players. And I believe uh, Lana Bosu is gonna pick the best. Yeah, because I I believe as a very good coach. Well, from the way it is, let's uh, hope that uh, Ladan Boso will get the best uh, squad for the Afghan under 20 coming up in Egypt. And also the under 17 are also ready to go because they also be playing in Algeria. We'll be giving you more on concerning the under 17 later on. And now we quickly move away from there. Let's talk about the Club World Cup. Flamingo couldn't believe their eyes as they were bundled out of the Club World Cup. They were defeated by Al Hilal. Or the only Gallo's team did well beating Flamingo to make history in Morocco. Do you know right now they'll be playing against? Uh, whoever win between Ria and Alali. Good one for <laughs> Al Hilal. Yeah, uh, Real Madrid. Uh, no, let, let's talk about Al Hilal. Even let, let's leave Real Madrid. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> it's a very good one for Odio Igalo's team get to the last stage because it seems they lost the first. The uh, was in a draw. I can't remember what they mm. played at the first match. I was really hard because the last time they uh, played, they played against Chelsea where Chelsea won them. That was 2021 uh, uh, World Cup Cup where Chelsea won them. 
So I, being a Nigerian player and being a Nigerian, I've always been behind Oginyago because he's a player that was always, who always uh, try to put everything in mm. his, in his, to make sure he makes the team win. So him winning for the team, to, uh, them winning is a very good one. But I believe when they meet in Madrid because I believe him is going to win. Don't, don't believe. You know why? Nobody, uh, it, it, the, the first meeting between Flamingo and Al Hilal in 2019, Flamingo won 3 1. Now, this second leg, let me call it second leg, this <laughs> second time, they met 10 players against the level now. But at least if you want to look at football, you want to rate Flamingo yeah, yeah, coming from Brazil. Brazil. And then you look at Al Hilal, they are a combination of players from Europe, from Asia from Nigeria, all like that, and Which they were more sophisticated. Exactly. So now you are looking at Real Madrid beating Alali. What if Alali shock Real Madrid? Ah. It will be difficult. Real Madrid has shock Abel, so I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, oh but they are really not being in great form. Mm. Like, there's no doubt That's about what I'm that. saying. But, Real Madrid but is when not... it comes to anything there to Champions League work. They, 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 they have know. a different. The spirit is quite different. I don't know. Okay. They might be. I, I can agree with. They me, might be with playing that. not quite well in, the, in their La Liga, but when it comes to that Champions League, international competition, this, this World Club Cup or more, the way they play their mm. game is where I see. Ah, are these guys on something else? You see, find a way to infuse uh, your Nigerian <laughs> balance there. <laughs> well, what do we see uh, right now? Talking about the Al, Al Hilal right now, doing well, qualifying for the first time in the history of a Saudi Arabian club uh, to be able to play in the final. Wait to see who will be uh, qualifying between Al Ali of Egypt versus uh, Real Madrid. Uh, that match will be coming up, but uh, a big one there for Al Hilal. Odion Igalo right now is a very happy man for the fact that his club. Demi fit, they did well against Flamingo of Brazil. I still remember before the match, uh, Arturo Vidal, you know, with his ruggedness and all that. <laughs> he was already sending message to Real Madrid. Can you imagine? <laughs> he was borrowing some leave from Nigeria. When we, when we have not even defeated Bra uh, Denmark, we're already looking at playing against Brazil <laughs> and now at the World Cup. And now they are disappointed. They, they are out of the tournament. So you have not, you've not finished with Al Hilal. You are looking at, looking at Real Madrid. No, they underrated Al, uh, Al Hilal. Mm. But they should know these guys are coming from, they have from different, different uh, one, continents. The best of the best. The best of the best. You can see Ronaldo now is also playing for Anderson. Uh, there in, in Anderson, you have the lack of uh, Luis Gustavo, one of the, one of, uh, when he was in his top form playing for Bayern Munich. Mm. There. Now you can see they have one of the best of the best, and you, Flamingos, after Vida, you can, he's always for me, he's rugged, but you cannot compare he's, it. He's borrowing from Gattu, so. <laughs> the black one, the white one, the white one, the first is clear. What a way to go. Good one for Al Hilal right now, breaking that record for Saudi Arabia to get to the final of the uh, FIFA Club World Cup, taking place in Morocco. Morocco really hosting the world there. Now we move away from that story. Let's talk about. Uh, Italian Serie A, uh, where Juventus defeated uh, Salanitana. Well, even though we have our own vice captain, we talk about uh, uh, Truce Ekong. They lost that game 3 0. What happened to them at home? Juventus they did well, scoring three goals. And you have to look at Vlahovic getting to, uh, a brace there. Yeah, it's a very good one for Juventus because they're not being really in great uh, uh, form the way we expected them to be. Napoleon are now taking over, they've taken over the the whole stage. So I wasn't. I when I saw these features yesterday, I was expecting yeah, that um, despite being our, our own vice captain Air Kong and the, the other team, I was expecting you no know, Juventus statistics, when it covers um, exposure and everything, they they having much edge than uh, the other team. But you know, football you, is magic. Anything can happen. Hmm. Even Arsenal could lose to Everton. Don't you know? bring EPL here. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> then we. Don't we, bring we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, magic happened. So that was mm. what happened yesterday. It happened yesterday. But so. good one for Juventus. After being dug 15 points, now they have at least been able to race back to 10 position yeah, very good despite 15 uh, points. Uh, uh, really, it's painful, but uh, they need to up their game because they are always uh, found wanting the issue of fixing or uh, committing one crime. I don't know. This is not the first time this is happening to them. Mm. I don't know. Uh, they have issues with. Police having points deducted from that. I don't know what's happening. They need to be prudent. I don't, I don't understand <laughs> they need to what be they're doing. Straightforward, the management especially. Let me use the Nigerian language. Well, <laughs> well, talking about Salalitana being defeated by Juventus there. 3 0, Vlahovic getting a brace, and now they are back to number 10 on the log. Although they still trail by 
30 good points. They have 26 points. And you have uh, Napoli with 56 points. They have to work hard if they are to uh, get closer there. Good one for Napoli. Victor Osime really scoring, making uh, Italia today uh, so easy, even though it's very defensive. Now we move away. Let's talk about uh, the FA Cup fourth round replay results. Matches were played. Let's look at Burnley defeating Ipswich Town. Sheffield Wednesday actually lost on, on <laughs> they lost on Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Fleetwood Town defeated them by pipping them by a long goal. Greensby Town 3 0 against Luton. You have Rexham losing against Sheffield United 3 0. One Sheffield out, one Sheffield stay. Yes, and it seems from this we have a Nigerian man is trying to get. Yes, uh, um, 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 is trying yeah. to bid for that particular club called Sheffield United. Although a lot of issues concerning it, you know, the uh, English press tried to paint his picture as if he's a con man, but uh, uh, really, uh, my advice is I should not give up. He should continue to press. If he gets, if he gets uh, hold of the club, I think they're going to have more Nigerian fans because we yes. Nigerians we like supporting our own. Our thing. So it's a very nice one. We are born here. as usual. We, we spell Bolly being uh, to defeat. Uh, if we uh, start. Yeah, then when is the, why did they, they, they did them on purpose? If they fix the match on when is we might. They could have won, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, good one for the likes of Sheffield United, who actually did well. But right now, Sheffield Wednesday are out. If it's town also out. Luton already bundled out in the FA Cup fourth round replay. And now we quickly talk about the German Bundes, uh, rather German DFB Cup before we wrap it up as uh, two matches were played. Freiburg defeated San Jose as expected. Uh, <laughs> yesterday it was talked about uh, alongside a lot of the pizzas where we mentioned that Freiburg should be able to do that. And they did enter in Frankfurt. 4-2 against Darmstadt. It was a six-goal thriller, but as expected, in Trump Frankfurt, they were able to do it. Kolo Mwani, good one. Yeah, it, as you said, expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a very predictable league, you know. Those who are playing the, the, the main position will defeat those at the lower... At the lower I don't know. That, and that has to be worked on serious because... You cannot just but, but at times you see you see cup um, uh, matches uh, we see giant killing teams coming to uh, uh, at least uh, obstruct them. Uh, but you know they have these clubs, these clubs playing uh, players like the Bundesliga, they have no hope of winning the Bundesliga. So they have no, they have to fight for what they can win. Mm. They are giving the Bundesliga to Bayern Munich already now. That would be it. Uh, good one there coming from Noel James. Uh, this giving you that particular story concerning LeBron James for what he has done. And we have to appreciate the fact that, uh, uh, well, if you follow basketball, you continue to look at those records standing. Well, good to have you once again, Noel Samson. It's my pleasure. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.